and liftoff of Artemis 1. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. With fuel tanks filled, NASA's Artemis rocket launches with the aim to send humans back to the lunar surface for the first time in 50 years. Well, our science correspondent Thomas Moore joins us live. And Thomas, there have been a few false starts here, haven't they? But they finally got it up. Yes, uh, there were a number of false starts because of technical problems, but yes, it, they managed to get it off the ground from uh, launch pad 39B at uh, Kennedy Space Center. There was a, a long tail of flame and a, a thundering crackle as the most powerful rocket ever built went towards the heavens. And perched on the top is the Orion spacecraft that will take uh, humans back to the moon for the first time in, in 50 years. Uh, and, and that is tremendously exciting, not just because of the science that they, they will do there, uh, but also because it is the first step on, on the way to Mars. Now, that, it, this is a, a test mission, the last test mission before humans are on board. is an accelerated testing program uh, under Artemis, that's uh, the name of the, the space, uh, the current uh, moon missions, uh, and it will mean that uh, humans could be back on the lunar surface in just three years' time.